In section 9.4, we're going to discuss comparison of series. Um, the first test that we're going to learn here is called the direct comparison test. All right, it's defined as follows. So if I have um, one uh, series whose, whose uh, terms can be um, defined as A sub N, and I have another series whose terms can be defined as B sub N, and all those terms are um, positive, and I have a series with B sub N that converges, and I know that each term in A is less than the terms in B, then I know that the series involving A also converges. All right, so anything less than a convergent series is also going to converge. And on the other hand, if I know that A conver or diverges, and I know that each term in B is greater than the terms in A, then I know that uh, series B diverges as well. All right, so the idea here is that we want to try to think of a series that is similar to the one that we're looking at, um, that we happen to know it converges or it diverges, and then we can compare ours to that and see if that gives us more information. All right, so the first example we'll take a look at here is we're trying to think about whether this series converges or diverges. So I have one um, over n cubed plus 1. All right, so if I compare that to 1 over n cubed, I know that this converges by the p-series test. So p is 3 here, which is greater than 1. So this series, 1 over n cubed, converges by the p-series test. All right, and I know that because I'm adding 1 to the denominator, 1 over n cubed plus 1 is always going to be less than 1 over n cubed. All right, so that's the, that's the direct comparison test working in my favor. So since this series converges and the series we're looking at is less than the series we know converges. We know our series converges by the direct comparison test. Let's take a look at another example. <coughs> Here I have 1 over 3 to the n plus 2. All right, I'm going to compare this 1 over 3 to the n um, this is really one-third to the n all right this is geometric where r is less than 1 so this converges by the geometric series test And I know that 1 over 3 to the n plus 2 is less than 1 over 3 to the n, because I'm adding 2 to each denominator. So our series converges by the direct comparison test. Take a look at our last example here. I have 1 over n minus 1. So I'm going to compare this to 1 over n. And this is a p series which equals 1. Right? So that um, that series diverges by the p-series test. All right, that's a harmonic series. So when we compare 
1 over n minus 1, notice here that we're subtracting 1 from the denominator. So each of those terms is going to be greater than 1 over n. So we have a, a series that we know diverges. Our series has terms that are each larger than the diverging series. So therefore, our series diverges by the direct comparison test. Right. Notice here that we have to have a very specific case. We have to have a series that is either less than a convergent series or a series that's greater than a divergent series. That's the only way that we can use the direct comparison test. Right. That leaves us a couple situations. The direct comparison test is not conclusive if, this, if our series is greater than a convergent series then we don't know. Our series might converge or it might not. And if our new series is less than a divergent series, then it might also be divergent or it might converge. We don't know. All right, so if we have either of these cases, then we need a new test. And for that, we're going to use the limit comparison test.